When working in Word, a very common mistake people make when typing a document is to press the spacebar repeatedly to get to the next line. While this works, it is very time consuming and will result in even more work deleting those extra spaces if you go back later and add additional text. A better method is to simply press the Enter key on your keyboard when you're ready to move to the next line. If you press the Enter key again, you'll notice that you now have an extra line in between your text. To remove that extra spacing, or to go back to the previous line, simply press the Backspace key. Another method for spacing your text evenly is to use the Tab key. The Tab key will move your cursor to the right just a few spaces. Many people use this feature to indent their text. Pressing the Tab key again will further space your text to the right. To remove the tab spacing, simply press the Shift key and the Tab key at the same time. There are also times when you might need your text to start on a new page in your document. Rather than pressing the Enter key multiple times to force a page break, you simply use the Page Break command. In 97 and 03 versions of Word, click Insert, Break, and then Page. In Word 2007, click the Page Layout tab. In the Page Setup group, click Breaks, and then click Page. Notice how your text now begins on a new page in the document. An alternative method for creating a page break is to press the Control key and then press Enter on your keyboard. To remove a page break, the easiest way is to turn on your Show Hide button. In the 97 and 03 versions, this is located on your standard toolbar. In 2007, it's on the Home tab. In the Paragraph group, click the Show All button. Locate the page break, click on it, and press Delete on your keyboard to remove the page break. 